To my husband, Derek Chase Will. <laughs> Allie Faith Sipple, to the girl who changed my life forever. I love you so much. You look absolutely amazing. This is the dress I wanted and imagined, and oh my gosh, you just, I could imagine a perfect bride more than you. For seven years, one month, and one day, I have waited for this day to come, and now here we are. It was you when we were just babies in high school at 15 years old. And it will still be you when we're old and gray. I knew you were the one, because if you were willing to attend my basketball game as a first date, how could you not be? <laughs> I knew you were the one, because even in the midst of arguing about UNO rules, you still managed to show me how compatible we are. <laughs> and I knew you were the one when I found myself cheering louder than I ever have for that number five. <laughs> When this journey began on June 22nd, 2015, I started falling more deeply for you. Each day I learned more about you and I began to see someone that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Someone who supports me, makes me laugh, is patient with me, has a heart for others, and loves not part but all of me. With time, my love continued to grow stronger because of who you've helped me become. Someone who was once prideful is now selfless with a heart for others. And someone who struggled with love is so deeply in love with you. I strive every moment to be a guy that you deserve. You deserve someone who is all that you are. You are so loving. You are kind, empathetic. You are selfless, you are loyal and all the characteristics that make you who you are assure me that I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with you. Ali, I vow many things to you. I vow to be the husband you deserve, someone who will be there in the best and worst moments, to bring you comfort and strength when you need it the most, to be the husband that will bring you joy when you are sad, and most importantly, to constantly remind you of your worth and to always make you feel loved and appreciated. I vow to keep God at the head of our relationship, each day grow with you and live a life that is pleasing to Him. And lastly, I vow to always love you. From this point, on this very day, until the day that I die, I will forever love you out, till death do us part. possibly describe the excitement that I have for our future together. You're my life, my soul, and my best friend all in one. There is nothing that I want more in this life than to have you as my husband. And I'm so blessed that standing here today, I have the privilege of becoming your wife. I will love you forever in a day, and then some more. Love, Al. Scripture says the power of life and death is in the tongue, and we can bless and curse. I want to read some scriptures as we bless this union. According to Deuteronomy chapter 28, all these blessings will come on you and overtake you if you'll hearken to the voice of God. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your body. Your careers and finances are blessed. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord shall command the blessing upon you, and all that you set your hand to do. And He shall bless you in the land which the Lord gives you. 
the Lord shall establish you a holy unto himself as he hath sworn unto you, if you'll keep his commandments. And all people that know you shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord. And the Lord shall make you plenteous in goods, in the fruit of your body, and continuous financial increase. The Lord shall open unto you his good treasure, and bless all the work of your hands, and you will lend and not borrow. And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail, and you shall be above and never beneath, if you hearken unto his commandments. be the very best husband that you could ever ask. I will stand by your side forever. And you'll always be my best friend, the woman by my side, until the day that I die.